What's up, you guys? This is Mary with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. Um, this is a free general collective reading. Cups to side you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't fly, let it fly. Everyone has free will. We, free will. I can't speak. Ah, free will. I only take the messages that resonate. Uh, free general collective reading. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 305. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No cash out, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. Um, I will not display publicly how much you donate or your name if you um, do it through my PayPal. Uh, just let everybody know for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Okay, so um, the channeling I received was... Um, it's a free general reading, so only take the messages that resonate. Just let everybody know. So, um, the channeling I received was, um, okay, several people that live in homes they're not supposed to live in, and I heard specifically not government assistance homes. Um, so, you know, not HUD housing, basically, or something of that nature, or Section 8 or something like that. Um, are not government assistance. So no, this is not including HUD homes or Section 8 or something of that nature. It's some kind of home they're living in they're not supposed to be living in. Um, I heard it's under someone else's name and they know it is, but they live there rent-free basically. Um, are about to start receiving several strange negative occurrences in, their, in the home. I heard um, negative spirits. It's about to start really, really scaring them. Um, some might start speaking up soon. Um, um, on on the um, on the theft. I heard on the theft. We've had a lot of theft in here. The previous channeling I just got, the video I just put out was about a, th a theft too. Um, so you plug it in how it resonates. However, that resonates in one's life. Dear God Almighty. But, you know, I was picking up in the energetic space, if y'all remember, um, I think it was like five or six months ago or something like that. Somebody was living in a home. They were living at home, living at home. It was under somebody else's name. And they knew it. They knew it. They knew it. But they were living there rent free because they didn't want to pay rent. But they knew it was under somebody else's name. They knew it was somebody else's home. But they know the other person doesn't know it's their home. So it might be the same energy, possibly. Or it might be a different situation in the universe. You plug it in how it resonates. But in this situation, it's several people. It's not just one person. I heard several people are living in homes they're not supposed to be living in. Several people are. Um, completely rent-free, not government assistance. So no Section 8, no HUD, nothing like that. It's They know they're living in this home. They know they're not paying rent. They know it's so, in somebody else's name. But they know the person, it's name it's in like the um uh, the d i'm presuming they know it it's not um they know their name is not on it based um they know they know their their name is on it but they the person that lives in the home knows that the person's name on the d does not know it's on there basically so they're not saying crap because they know they get to live there free if that makes sense if that makes sense that's what I'm taking from the channeling. Um, that's how I'm taking it. So, um, but I heard, and it's several people in the universe. Um, but these people, I heard negative spirits. So, I mean, this is not Casper the Friendly Ghost we're talking about here. This is not freaking Casper the Friendly Ghost. This is neg negative, like negative spirits. So, my God, th that's not anything to be uh, messing around with. Negative spirits. That's scary. I mean, Lord, I mean, I channel in messages from, um, from the other world, you know, not from the other world, but from the other realm, from the spiritual realm in, um, from ancestors and, um, spirits from the other side, but there, it is not, these are Casper the friendly ghost is what I'm trying to say. These are Casper the friendly ghost, not negative spirits um whoever this is that's about to start experiencing i heard several negative occurrences around the home um it's not casper the friendly ghost is what i'm trying to say these are like demonic type evil entity energies um i wonder if some of these people practice dark arts or they 
do something um, negative in the home like drug trafficking or um, sex trafficking or prostitution or something um, because there's a reason that evil demonic force like entities are about to enter their home is what I'm trying to say. One, well, one, the, they know that they're living at home they're not supposed to be living in. I'm sure that's probably part of it. But two, I wonder if there's something else going on, like prostitution, drug trafficking, sex trafficking, or maybe abuse or something of that nature, um, possibly. I didn't hear any of that, but that's just my thoughts on this. Um, because there's a reason, and it sounds like these people have been living in there for a while. It sounds like they've had chance after chance after chance to do the right thing. But they're refusing to right, do the right thing. So now it looks like demonic spirits are about to come and um, handle it on the spiritual realm, like spiritual regulators on the um, dark side. I mean, this is not no Casper friendly ghost. This is scary. Let me see if I hear anything else. Oh. Okay, I didn't, I didn't, but I did hear in here earlier that um, um, several negative current occurrences were going to start happening. Um, so, I mean, these spirits are not playing around. I'm thinking broken, not broken items. I'm thinking maybe broken appliances. Um, uh, I was maybe whole like huge holes in walls or maybe a, not, um, something gets flung across the room or something. I mean, I don't know. I didn't hear any of that. That's just um, my thoughts on this. Uh, possibly, uh, Lord, you guys, this is um, this is not anything you mess around with. But I also heard that um, at least uh, at least one of these people out of the several homes that these people were living in, rent free basically, off the back of others. Um, one of them will probably go and say something and say something um, because they know they're being haunted on the spiritual realm. And and they will be for sure. They've had many, many, many chances. And they're huge moochers. Okay, I heard they've had many, many, many chances. They're huge moochers. So whoever these people are, I heard they're, they've had many chances and they're huge moochers. So they know they've had many chances in the 3D realm to go say something, to go say something, to get it straightened out, to pay some rent, to um, do what they need to do, but they refuse to do it. Um, so now it sounds like dark. I mean, I wonder if this is like, um, I heard, I heard. They're not messing, the spiritual realm's not messing around. So I wonder if it's, um, I mean, because you can, I don't know if it's the, the, the dark side. What I'm saying is there's light side and there's dark side. So I don't know if it's like Casper the Friendly Ghost that's pissed off that's coming. Um, or if it's somebody in those homes, they're doing such negative, dark, nasty shiznit that they're conjuring up dark spirits and the spirits attack them, basically. Um, I feel it could go both ways. You know what I'm saying? Like if it's a Casper the Friendly Ghost that's trying to protect somebody else and they get pissed off and they're going over there to handle some, regulate some business. Or if these people are conjuring, or if they're on the dark side and they're conjuring up spirits and the spirits turn on their ass. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it could go both ways. That, that's not anything to be messing around with. That is a oh. Either way, they're not in the right. Release. Um, one of these people is about to release the information. I heard they're about to get so scared and freaked out. They're about to release the information. Um, they should have released it a long time ago. I heard they had a long, long um, time. They basically had many chances to make it right, and they refused to do it. They don't want to pay rent. They don't want to. Um, um, they don't want to do what they're supposed to do, basically. So they don't want to release the information. But I heard one of them, at least one of them, is. You could be the one that's going to release the information or somebody you're connected to. You plug it in how it resonates. Share messages to your perspective. One of these people is going to release the information and move. Okay, I heard one of these people is going to release the information and move. Far away. Far away. 
Okay, so one of these people is going to release the information and move far away. So they're going to get so, so scared and so freaked out, they're going to release the information and move far away. So I think cities, I think states, maybe even countries, um, trust reverse. They do, they're not going to trust the situation or they don't um, trust the situation period, which they shouldn't trust the situation period. That's a shysty ass situation. But they're huge ass mutuals. They know the information. They know the person that name is on the deed. They know they, one, they're not getting rent. They're not getting compensated. And two, they know they're living their rent free. So, I mean, they cannot trust the situation all day long. But hell, the, when the person finds out the name's on the deed, they're not going to trust their ass either. And they'll probably put a lawsuit on their ass. But that's probably why at least one of these people is going to um, say something, I'm assuming to authorities, and move. Because they know they're in the wrong. So trust reverse, they don't trust the situation. Well, they, they're they not trustworthy. So hell, how do they expect the, uh, the renter, um, the landlord, I'm sorry, the landlord to trust them? You know what I'm saying? Because they're not even getting rent. Several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur in this situation. Someone's house is about to be completely destroyed. It is about to piss them off. Oh my God, this is serious. This is so serious. I heard several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with this situation. Um, someone's house is about to get completely destroyed. Um, it's about to piss them off. So they don't trust the situation. Um, they don't trust... Um, there's about to be some kind of dark... It's either, like I said, I feel like you go two ways. It either can be like Casper the Friendly Ghost, light side, spiritual realm, spirits coming and regulating for the person, um, the landlord that's supposed to be getting the money that doesn't even know they own the home. Or it could be these people practicing dark arts and like the necromancy and crap I've been pulling in in here, um, conjuring up the dark demons and crap, and then the dark demons turn on their ass. So it could be them not trusting that they know black magic is about to backfire on them. Or it could be um, the landlord's perspective, landlord's spirit guides coming and putting some spiritual whoop ass on them. However, that resonates. But I heard several shocking series of chain of events are about to occur with this. Somebody's house is about to get completely destroyed. They're about to be pissed. Um, but it sounds like it's about to be from the spiritual realm that's about to do this in all seriousness. About to get very, very paranoid. One will definitely go to authorities. Okay. Heard about to get very, very, very paranoid. Uh, one will definitely go to authorities. So um, they're about to get very, very paranoid about the situation and one will definitely go to pay, uh, authorities. So um, they don't trust the situation. Well, yeah, my God. How can you? This is crazy. Let me see if I hear anything else. Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys. Well, I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.